Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be preparing for Mika, our guy. His mats were just officially released by Genshin and now we're finally able to grind them. Without further ado, let's get into the video. But before we do that, if you guys could just take a minute to go down and click that subscribe button, it really doesn't take that much time and it really helps me out a lot. Anyways, let's get into the video. Alright, so Mika needs a lot of different things which are kind of interesting on this account. The first thing he needs is the Sedith Wecknut boss, which is located in the Sumeru region. It is a boss that I actually have already unlocked and we're now able to go grind. So first things first, why don't we go and kill his boss? All right, here we are, the Sedith Wecknut or whatever you call him. All right. Let's choose a different team. So this team can work. I've kind of found that Sino, Yunjin, Raiden, Zhongli is like my favorite comp. So I think I'm going to run with this. And let's see how fast we can kill this boss. It should be pretty simple. Not too hard of a boss fight here. This guy was just introduced in Abyss actually, which we may do in a upcoming episode. Hello there, Sedith Wicknut. It's time for you to die. Let's go, Sino. Sino plus Yunjin, ultimate combo. Let's go. Oh, he's already underground. Fun. Oh, come back out. Yes, go, Sino. Get him. Oh, okay, he's back underground. And this guy moves up and down so fast, dude. Can you just stay above ground for more than two seconds, please? Oh, man, I really need that Sino burst up for when he comes back up officially. Okay, here he is. Let's do this. Let's do this. I need the Yoon Jin burst, too. Just grinding burst. And there we go. I believe we have the Yoon Jin burst. And we have the Sino burst. Perfecto. Now, just come on. Come above ground, big man. Do your thingamajig. Let's go. Sino, it's your time, buddy. Oh, never mind. He's back underground. Okay, that's awesome. That's so cool. Oh, wait, no, never mind. It's, it's this thing. It's this phase. Okay, we need to pop some sort of bubble thingy. Where is it? Come on, give me the bubble. I can't really get them while they're in the air. Yeah, I couldn't I couldn't really do anything there. They were in the middle of the air. I didn't bring a bow character with me, but we should be able to kill them with a Zhongli burst. Yes, we were. Let's go. Get wrecked by Zhongli. Claim our 40 resin, and we get three. Uh, only two that time. That's okay. Plus a crit damage hat with terrible subs. All right, let's see how many we're working with here. So we now have a total of 11 pseudo stummons is what we're going to call them. All right. Well, we are going to have to get a couple more of those. Unfortunately, our resin for today is a little bleak. We do have a couple transient, which we can use, and I probably will use them just so I can go and do the next thing, which is grinding out his talent material, which is in this domain right here, the Forsaken Rift domain, and it has the teachings of Valid. We're going to need a lot of these if we want to upgrade our Mika to level six talents. If you're wondering why I'm saying level six talents is because he requires the Scaramouche boss mats and nobody in their right mind has time to do a 15 hour quest for a second time. All right, let's start getting into it. I believe this is the cryo domain. So he probably brings a pyro, some electro characters with us. Hu Tao, Rosario is good here. We can bring Raiden Shogun and this looks pretty good to me. Let's put up the Zhong shield, get that jungling burst going. Raiden Shogun, carry us to victory. Just kidding, Hu Tao, it's your time. Oh my goodness, look at the icicles dropping on us. There's a lot of them too. Luckily we're okay though. We got the Zhang Shield though. When you have the Zhang Shield, you really don't even have to think about the game. You can do whatever you want. We got Raiden Burst, 28k. That definitely did not crit. Come on, Raiden Zhongli, and oh, you're dead. You're so dead, bird. Yeah, that was a pretty slow domain though. Yeah, one minute 13. These domain runs take me quite a while. I mean, this domain is just a long one, right? Because there's three different waves of enemies. No gold at that time. Okay though, because we actually don't need gold for Mika because we cannot take his talents past level six. We are more just looking for a bunch of silver bucks. Okay, Gwoba time. I'm gonna go right in Shogun, Zhang Shield. Oh my goodness, Hu Tao's on low HP, oh no. Oh wait, no, she wants to be at low HP, I forgot. I can never remember how to play Hu Tao and I always get slandered for it, but trust me, I promise I'm trying. Let's do Ryan Shogun burst. Oh, look at that damage, there we go, that was a 75k. Stamina, Hu Tao. I wish I knew how to do jump cancels, but it's like the hardest thing to do in the game. Okay, that's our second domain run. A little faster that time, not too much though. What do we get? One, five, four, not terrible, we will take it. Zhongling burst, Zhongli burst. Or, you know, we're just gonna do every burst and then Raiden burst. Oh, look at that. I love damage, bro. Except we do need the Zhongli shield because we are taking mad damage. And then I can only do Hu Tao normal attacks because stamina. 
I have, trust me guys, I have tried learning the jump cancel before and I cannot do it for the life of me. Go Hutao, normal attack him to death. Man, her normal attacks feel so slow compared to her charged attacks. It's actually kind of sad to be honest. And last guy, so close. Finish him right in. He's dead. Come on, that's gotta be fast. 117, oh man, I'm getting slow. As is the count ages, so do I. And my times. Come on, give me something good. Ah oh, man, 5-4, trash. All right, that was three condensed. Let's check how many talent books we have now. I believe I need somewhere in the span of like 60 something. Let's see, what do I got? So we got 39, which is way too much. I think we only need six and then 43, seven. Let's go craft some of these freedom books and see if we can make a couple more of these silver ones. All right, we're gonna go to our crafting table. We're gonna craft a bunch of these. Let's go all the way except for two because we need six to make to get the talents past level one. And now we can craft that. Bang, bang, boom. No bonuses because we can't. And what does that leave us with? Let's see. 654. I think that's just like barely not enough, but it's pretty close to being enough. So I think we're good on talent books. Next thing's next. There are some mobs we need to farm. Those mobs are the recruiters. But I think because we've played this game so much and our account has been around for a long time and I don't think I've used these materials on anybody, I think we already have enough recruiters insignias for our Mika. If we just craft a bunch of these gray ones into the green ones, we honestly should be fine. Let's see here. We're just gonna craft a whole horde of them. Let's see. 116, I think we only need like max 30. We'll craft like 72, honestly. Oh, no, not Sucrose. I can't use you. Uh, Rosaria, there we go. Bang. Yeah, even 134. We won't need 134, but I'll leave it just in case, I guess. And now we have a total of 134, 89, 20. Surely that is enough to at least take him to level 90 and then 6-6 six, six talents. All right. The last thing in his assortment of items that we need for him is going to be his world material. It is wolf hooks. And wolf hooks are really tough to get. I believe they have a two day respawn time and there's only one spot which they spawn in the entire game, which is in Wolven Dome. And I believe we've already farmed them for the time period. Wolf berries. Yeah, I think we already farmed them. In the future, we're just gonna have to wait for the respawn time. Luckily, we do have, ooh, only three more days. I honestly don't know if we get enough wolf hooks in that time. We might have to do a bit of co-op popping, uh, which I won't do today because it's a little boring and not the most exciting content. I mean, overall, we're looking pretty good, but we still have 40 more resin. Let's go back to the Sedith Winnut or whatever it's called and kill that thing one more time. This thing is honestly not all that dangerous. It's just a little scary because it's kind of big, but man, we're chilling. I like the team we got now. Let's try it out and killing this boss. The Zhongling Raiden Hu Tao comp kind of cracked. Oh, look at all the damage we're doing. Oh, we already got him down a third. I'm feeling good today. This thing is kind of weak though, not gonna lie. No, come back here, coward. He always cowers under the ground. Oh my gosh. Oh, I shouldn't have wasted the Hu Tao-y there. That was kind of unfortunate, but it's okay. Go Hu Tao, get him. 14, 14, 7, 19k. Ooh, Hu Tao, 19k. Oh, He's coming out of the ground. We have to get those big ball thingies that he spawns. Where are they? They're over there. Okay, we got him. Nice. And honestly, Hu Tao could probably just finish him off, but I kind of want to finish with the Raiden Burst, so we will. 76k Raiden Burst. Bro, one day we'll get the 100k Raiden Burst once, once she's a little better built. But for right now, let's claim our reward. Hopefully we get the God Artifact here. No. <laughs> unfortunate but we did get three pseudo statements there and that now leaves us with a total of 24 our goal for the first day i think is just gonna be level 80 so the only thing that we still have to farm is gonna be those wolf hook berries we got our insignias we got our teaching and guides to freedom all set up for him and we have 24 pseudo statements for him overall we're looking pretty good there isn't much we're really missing out on other than obviously, you know, the dungeon boss material because Scaramouche and Wolf Hook Berries. Pretty good. Next thing's next. We are going to want to think about his build. Now, not a lot has been revealed about it, like the scaling and things like that. We just know generally what he does. So here is going to be his build. We have it on Candice for right now. 
Okay, so Mika does one of two things for us. Number one is providing us with a second healer besides Yao Yao. And two, he's an attack speed buffer, which honestly, with Sino, that could be insane. If we get Sino, C6 Yunjin, which I don't know if that'll ever happen, but you know, one day we might get this attack speed upgrade because it's kind of OP. And we get that combination with Mika. I mean, that could be kind of crazy. But for right now, let's talk about his build. So he's first and foremost a healer, and most healers generally have HP scaling. I say, I would honestly say I think every healer in the game has HP scaling, but I don't want to say that for certain because I'm not sure. So I think Black Tassel is most likely our best bet for him just because it has that HP percent substat. And honestly, I don't think Mika is going to be doing all that much damage on his own considering he's a cryo character and doesn't work with a lot of the current dendro meta um artifact wise i think we'll probably go two piece tenacity two piece emblem uh we're gonna need some energy obviously i'm not sure his exact energy increment but i think having the two piece two piece is gonna be pretty good if not maybe we go four piece tenacity we'll see constellation we're probably not gonna go for any of those unless we just get lucky on the shenha banner uh talents are probably just gonna be six that's the most likely scenario unless we decide to go all out for Scaramouche, but I'm sure you guys can understand why I'm hesitant to do that. Here are some of the artifacts we're working on him for right now. So we got a bit prepared, not everything, but we have ideas of what artifacts we want. So we have a plus 16 feather here, which rolled straight flat HP. And initially, you know, I thought, why don't we just ditch this piece? But you know, if Meek is an HP scaling character, it could technically be good for him. Plus it has EM and crit rate crit damage. So it could be good. My other options are like this and I, this has HP percent. I mean, this one could be good. It has HP percent, flat HP, crit rate. I mean, Gen, this could actually not be bad. But the, my only problem at the moment is that, as you guys can see, I have no artifacts. <laughs> like, none. Because we've been sacking a lot of pieces. But we could try and just throw, like, this tr piece of trash in there. See how it goes. Plus 17. Straight HP percent. Bring it home. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I honestly just want to take it to plus 20 to see how high we can get the flat HP, but I don't know if that's worth it. It'd be kind of funny though. I mean, I'm not against it. Here, let, let's try it. Let's try it. Give me times two, please. Let's go. Shoot, it rolled crit rate. Oh, uh, usually that'd be good, but now I don't know which piece is better. This one or this one with the 1000 flat HP? I genuinely don't know. I kind of like the 1000 flat HP one. Uh, as for the flower, we're probably just going to go to Nasty Flower. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not going to upgrade this one right now. As of right now, I just don't have a lot of sackable pieces. So I think we're just going to have to leave this one for right now. Uh, sands, we do got a plus 20 HP Sands with some crit damage, some crit rate, some energy recharge. I imagine we'll probably need a little bit of crit rate on him if we want to go Favonius Lance, because that might be a good option if we're able to get it. I do know that Favonius Lance is coming on the upcoming banners as they have released them officially. A uh, cryo damage bonus. We may go HP. We may keep cryo damage bonus. We will see. It depends on if we're actually going to want to do damage with him or not. And then lastly, HP hat. I feel like it's all pretty self-explanatory. If we need to go crit rate, we'll switch it up and go crit rate. And yeah, that's kind of my idea. Uh, another thing, if we do get a Fav Lance, we will switch off this and put him on Fav Lance. And yes, I also brought up quickly there that Hoyoverse did officially release the banners. I'll throw some pictures uh, up of them now. But one of the banners is Shenha, Sucrose, Diona, and Mika. Obviously, no good Polarm characters on there other than Mika and Shenha. Would have liked to see maybe Toma or Candice on there, but you can't get everything you wish for. Overall, it's a pretty decent banner. I mean, it's not bad. We do get two Polarm characters, a Polarm 4-star and a Polarm 5-star potentially, if we're able to pull it out. Let's do one final Primo check before the banner comes. This is going to be our final Primo check, maybe of the series. I don't know. If we don't get another Polarm for a long time, maybe a, maybe a stretch. We'll see. But we have 1,000 Primo Gems, 21 Intertwined Fates, which leaves us with a total of 64 plus 21 we got 85 wishes coming shenha's way possibly some more with star glitter but that guarantees us at least 150 50. will we get it i don't know you guys will just have to wait until she officially releases but with all that being said thank you guys so much for watching the video today and i'll see you guys all in the wishing video peace